Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Taylor Rose, also known as The Healthy Huga on Instagram and TikTok. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite skincare product on the market, retinol. If you haven't done so already, please take a minute and smash that subscribe button to help me keep doing what I'm doing and to stay up to date on my newest content. So let's start off with a quick intro to retinol. Retinol is a derivative of vitamin A, which is one of the body's key nutrients for boosting cell turnover. Retinol has about a million and one benefits for skin, including, but certainly not limited to, smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles and preventing them from occurring in the future, brightening dull skin, treating acne, reducing excessive oil, fading dark spots, and minimizing the look of large pores. While many dermatologists hail retinol as magic in a bottle, many people don't see the benefits that they should because they're making one of these seven mistakes that I'm about to talk about in this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video as number seven is by far the most disastrous mistake you can make when using retinol on your skin. I will also be giving you a few recommendations of my favorite retinols for different skin types at the end of this video. So by far the most common mistake I see when people add retinol into their skincare routine is starting out way too quickly. If you're using retinol for the first time, you wanna start out only using it one to two times a week so that your skin has time to adjust to its effects. If you start out by using it every day or even every other day, like many people mistakenly do, you will end up with dry, irritated, peeling, and red skin, which is not pleasant at all. Once you get past this initial two to three week period of using retinol only one to two times a week, you need to bump up to using it at least three times a week. This brings me to the second most common mistake I see people making, which is using retinol under three times a week indefinitely. While you need to do this initially to give your skin time to acclimate, you'll wanna bump up to as many days as you can comfortably do to see the best results. If you have sensitive skin, you may only be able to tolerate using retinol three to four times a week, which is completely fine. But once you get under that three time a week minimum, you're not gonna see the benefits of retinol that you're hoping for. Our third most common mistake is using retinol as part of your morning skincare routine. You should only use retinol at night and make sure you're following this up with an SPF every single morning as retinol can make your skin more sensitive to the sun. If you expose your skin to the sun shortly after applying retinol, it can also make the retinol less effective. Mistake number four is not waiting until your skin is completely dry before applying your retinol. While it is beneficial to apply most skincare products to damp skin for extra absorption, when retinol is mixed with water, it can actually absorb too deeply into your skin, which can cause extra drying and irritation. Mistake number five is information that is not known to many, and therefore it is a mistake that is made by many. This mistake is not letting your retinol fully absorb before applying your next product. You should let retinol soak into your skin for 15 to 20 minutes before applying a moisturizer or any other skincare product, as applying any other skincare product too soon can actually cancel out retinol's benefit. The exception to this is if you have extremely sensitive skin and can't normally tolerate a retinol, you may want to apply a moisturizer 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after your retinol to reduce irritation without completely diluting the treatment. Moving on to number six, the biggest key with retinol is consistency. Not being consistent every single week with the application of your retinol or giving up after a month or two after you're not seeing results is a huge mistake. Retinol can take anywhere from three to six months to show that it's working, so you must find the motivation to stay consistent without results in the beginning in order to see the best benefit. And last, but certainly not least, the biggest mistake I see people making with retinol is quitting during the purge phase. Retinol is typically a worse before better type situation with many people reporting extreme breakouts, irritation, redness, dryness, and peeling within the first few weeks of use. While everyone's skin reacts different to retinol, this purge phase can last anywhere from one week to two months before it eventually settles down. Most people can't get past this unpleasant initial purge phase and give up stating that retinol does not work for them when in reality, they just haven't gave it time to do its job. If your purge phase does last for over two months, I definitely recommend switching brands 
as different retinols have different additives in them and another brand may work way better for your skin type. If you've made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're here. I also answer all comments, so please drop a comment on this video if you have any questions about anything I've said thus far. To close out this video, I wanted to give you guys a few of my top retinol products to get you started. My favorite anti-aging retinol is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. My favorite retinol for beginners is the Avini Retinalahide. I think that's how it's said. My favorite budget-friendly retinol is the A. Passioni Retinol Cream by Drunk Elephant. And my current favorite overall retinol is the Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Oil. I hope this video helped. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you have any questions and stay tuned for more content.